To-do lists and tasks have a tendency to keep piling up, becoming harder and harder to keep up with. It's common to write a to-do list but abandon it later. We often overplan and have high expectations on how much we can accomplish when we should be more strategic on how to manage our tasks. Notion is one of the most powerful tools for managing to-do lists because of its customizability. As you use it more and more, you can make it work with your own workflow. Whether you like to organize your to-do based on deadlines, categories, or even by type, Notion's powerful filtering systems can do it all. In this video, we'll be showing you a Notion tour and tutorial of our advanced to-do list and task manager template. If you find this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. When you first open up this template, you'll notice the following sections. So on the left hand side, we have quick links where you can add new tasks and go to various pages in this to do list. And then we also have a monthly check in. So you can write out your month's goals, your month's results, reminder to myself and document any thoughts you have. In the middle section, we have categories. So this is where you can categorize your tasks and see different to-do lists based on them. So let's say that you have personal tasks. You can see all of your personal tasks inside here. And then we also have a view all of your to-do list regardless of the category. So you can see all of your to-do list items here. Then we also have a task calendar here and you can see it by this month and this week. So first, let's cover categories. So categories are what you can categorize your tasks, and this can be as complicated or as simple as you need it to be. So for example, we have personal here and we have work here. So it could just be as simple as having only personal and work categories. But if you want to separate it even further, you could have house chores, you can have your courses, and you can even add things like childcare or so on based on the type of category you want to see the task list in. So let's say that we want to add a new category. You can simply click the plus button here and we'll just add a sample category so you can see how this works. So let's say that you want to categorize your cooking tasks or grocery shopping and so on into one task category. You could just simply call this one cooking slash food and then we can see that there is an archive button so if you stop using a category you can always just press this button here and archive it and here you can see your incomplete task so let's try adding a task inside of this here so say that we need to go buy groceries for dinner and you're just going to do it today and you can add type as well so the type is going to be for example this is shopping so you're going to put shopping here so this is designed in a way that you can categorize your tasks in an overarching way like cooking and food but then you can also put a type so that let's say that you can gather all of your same shopping items in one so you can see that you can just simply go to the shop and do all of these tasks at once. Then you can choose the duration, so how long this is going to take, so maybe 10 to 30 minutes, and you can add a priority as well. And here we also included a subtask option, so sometimes to-do lists and tasks can be a bigger thing, and in that case, you can add subtasks so that you can break it down even further. So now you see that there is one incomplete task. And if you were to move this task to doing and then to done, this number also gets updated. So we're just going to put it back to to do. So if we click out, we'll see our cooking and food category here. And let's go ahead and also add a cover photo, which we highly recommend. So we can go to change cover and we can go to unsplash and look for cooking and we'll just select one of these photos so now we see our cooking slash food category and there might be some overlap here so this is something you can even tag multiple categories to one task or you can simply choose which makes sense for you so let's now say that we are done with this course here so we can just simply check this off and it moves to archive so you no longer see it on the main page if you wanted to reactivate it you can simply click it again 
And if you want to view all, you can view all this way. So the next thing we wanted to show you is this to-do list in the dashboard. So now we have our buy groceries for dinner, which we already added. And here you can also archive tasks. So if you decide that you don't need to do this anymore, and you can just move it to archive simply by dragging it in like this. Now the interesting thing is that you can view your to-do list in multiple different ways. So when you fill everything in for here, so we have the category, the type, the duration, priority, and the due date, then you can actually use it in all of these filter views. So you can see it by due date. So now we see that there's one task today, so you could just open it up and see it. You can see it by time. So here, you can see that these are 10 to 30 minute tasks. So if you wanted to do all of your tasks that are less than 10 minutes all in one go, you can also do that by clicking here. You can see it by category. So we see our cooking and food here and house chores. So now here you can see your kitchen tasks and you can see your shopping tasks like this. So by this, you can simply see all the tasks that happen in the kitchen. This could even be a work task. If you tend to work in the kitchen, this could just go into the kitchen. And for example, shopping could include even going to a furniture store and so on. So if you just want to drive once and pick up everything in one go, you can do that as well. So these tags, we recommend you to customize them yourself so that it makes sense for you. So let's go back to the view all and now let's say that we wanted to add a subtask. So let's say buy groceries for dinner. Now we just want to add all of the ingredients we need to buy. So let's say that we need to buy broccoli and we need to buy cheese and so on. And you can even open up this page here and see them here. So we have cheese, broccoli, you can add cereal. So in this way, you can even keep a shopping list as a subtask. And let's say that as you buy them, the completion goes up so you can see that it's done. So this is also a very useful feature of this to-do list. So the next thing we wanted to show you is the task calendar. So now you can see tasks which are dated inside of the calendar. And this could start looking messy if you tend to date everything. But if you just put the ones that are important for you in the dates, you can also do that as well as choosing to filter. So if we go to the filter here, you could actually just filter it by category. For example, if you only want to see a certain type of category, you can also filter it by type, priority, anything you want here, you can do that. And what's now really cool is that you can actually open this up in your Notion calendar. So here you can see buy groceries, you can see clean kitchen. And if you add actual times to this, it's going to actually give you reminders on what you need to do at a certain time. So this can also be really useful feature. So if we go back to our notion and let's say that now I'm going to put actual time to this. So instead of today, I'm going to add include time. And I'm going to schedule this for, let's say, 5 p.m. So now we see buy groceries at 5 p.m. listed like this. And you can even open it up in Notion. And it's also going to send you a reminder. So if you're interested in our tutorial on Notion's calendar, we'll also leave the link to that in the description below so you can really maximize this feature. The next area of this template that we wanted to cover is for the monthly check-in. So for the monthly check-in, we recommend you to click here and go to, for example, all goals. So when you start a month, you can simply click plus new and it's going to open it up for you. So you can simply click plus new and then choose goals this month. And it's automatically going to choose this month. So make sure to only click here at the start of the month. So as you can see, it already created February 2024. And then you can write some goals. So this is just to keep you motivated. So for example, my goal could be to make sure to check on my task list morning and night. So you can really choose what you want here and it can be anything. And if you also go to all results at the end of the month, you can also click plus new and it's going to create one in this month for you. 
if you go to all reminders you can also do that here so reminders can just be things that keep you sort of motivated and to remember so for example here remember to say no for example if you tend to say yes to all things people ask of you and then all thoughts if you have any brain dump moments here you can just simply dump them in to these boxes here by clicking it open and typing it in and if you need to create a new one you can just click plus new but whenever you add them in this view it's going to be during this month so everything is filtered by this month so now we can go to view this month and you can really just see everything here in one glance now we wanted to cover all of our navigations so here on the left hand side we have this button here where you can automatically add a new task so if we just click here add new task you can simply create a new task here you can add due date, priority, duration, type, and so on, and fill it in, and it's going to be added to your task list. The next thing we wanted to show you is that this is a synced block, so this is copied on all of the pages, so you could easily return home. So let's go to categories, and here you can see all of your categories, active, archived, and view all, and we can return home. The next one is our to-do list. So again, here you can see your to-do list only. So if you just want to simply see all of your to-do list, you can do that here. And we can return home. And then we have monthly check-in here. And again, you can see everything. So goals this month, all goals, all results, all reminders, all thoughts. And this one also is filtered based on this month. So make sure that you are adding it during the month so if you want to have it in that month view so if we go return home it's going to go back to this page and here we have databases and this we recommend you not to touch as it's really crucial for this template to work so make sure not to delete this box so that the template keeps functioning properly the next thing we wanted to talk about is how to sort of customize this to-do list to your own needs. So when we open up a to-do, you'll see that these things are all added. So priority, duration, type, categories. So if you wanted to add a new type here, you can simply edit the property and click the plus sign here and add a new option. For example, if you need to put school, all tasks happening at school, you could just put school like this. And the other thing you can change is, for example, the duration as well. You can simply add a new option here if you wanted to also show things that happen for two hours. You can also edit their priority. Then you can also even add different statuses. So if we click status, edit property, you'll see that there's to do, doing, archived, and done. If you had other progresses in here, you can simply click plus and add a different sort of status here as well to customize it. The other way to customize it is simply by clicking plus add a property and let's say that you need to assign it to someone so if you're using this collaboratively you can simply turn this one on there's also all sorts of other properties you can choose to add if you wanted to add more sort of tags you can also do that by choosing these select or multi-select options and so on so there's a lot you can do in order to customize this and the other thing we wanted to mention is you can always filter. So if we wanted to filter this only by, let's say, category is work, you can do that. And unless you say for everyone, this could just be temporary. So if we just click it off, it's gone. So whenever you just want to see a certain filter view, that's also very possible in doing this. Finally, we just wanted to mention that this advanced to-do list comes with four different formats. So we have this minimalist light mode. We also have minimalist dark mode. We have a colorful light mode and then we have a colorful dark mode so that it can work in a variety of situations, no matter what your personality is and how you want to use it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in this template, be sure to check the link in the description. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you and we hope to see you in the next video.